Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and this is Leslie and as you can see I have my dot journal in front of me. Happy New Year. We are going to quickly do a 2021 YouTube video log of what I plan on doing for the actual year. So I figured I'd take you along with me to just show you me writing out the information that I'm looking to hopefully do for all of 2021. Of course, there'll be stuff that's gonna be thrown in, but this is gonna be hopefully a basis for what I'm gonna be looking to do in the upcoming year. So let's get started. I hope everybody had a wonderful new year and a wonderful Christmas. And the colors that I'm gonna be using are gonna be blues only because in January, I think about the cold weather. So I decided that I was gonna work on stuff that is in the blues and purple families. Better put my glasses on. So I am home this weekend for three days, which is a rarity for me, so I'm taking full advantage of it. I should have started sooner today. Today is actually Friday that I'm shooting this video, which is New Year's Day. But I didn't end up starting until like seven o'clock at night, which is what it is as of right now. Take out my trusty micron pen. So what did everybody do for the holidays this year? Especially since things were so different. Did you actually travel or did you stay home with just your immediate family? It was just me and John. So we did our normal Yorkshire pudding, standing rib roast, and red cabbage meal for Christmas. So I tried to watch as many YouTube videos as I could the, over the holidays, which is something I usually do anyway because I really don't watch regular TV anymore. Basically the only thing I watch are YouTube videos and if I have no YouTube videos to watch, then usually I'll head over to like either Netflix or Sling or which other, you know, some of them this season was AMC or TNT because they had all the uh, holiday movies and stuff on. All right, let me do this. All right, so number one. And this is what I will be working on probably tonight and a good part of this weekend.
Okay, so as you can see, it says create a journal out of a book, altered book series. So I have purchased two books from the Dollar Tree. I have a bunch of old books, but I don't plan on using the old books for um, doing an altered book, at least not right now. Um, but in the next video that I make, which will be the next video that we'll be posting after this one, I will go over everything about what it's like, like how to pick out a book, what you should be looking for when wanting to alter a book for journaling, whether it's for art journaling, whether it's for daily personal journey, uh, journaling, uh, bullet journaling, anything like that. The difference is you're not create. well, you, you kind of are creating it yourself, but you have the basic structure already of the book. So it's not like you have to make a cover and sew in a signature or, or two. You have the pages there and you just go from, go from there. But that's kind of what I plan on showing you in the altered book series. So I'm hoping to do at least one video uh, every week with the altered book series. So I hope that's something you guys are looking forward to. I watch a lot of women who I truly, really enjoy. One is um, Joey Defee, uh, Shabby Dabby Duda, Tina, uh, Barbara, 49 Dragonflies, uh, Gail Augustinelli. I hope I didn't butcher her name. Um, but those are the, the, the four main people that I really, really enjoy watching. So I will make sure to link their channels down below. I know Joey Defee actually had just recently got a whole bunch of global YouTubers who do junk journaling together and they were doing positivity videos for 2021. So they were also going to go over what they were going to, what they were kind of planning on doing for 2021. And I've already watched Gail's, I've watched Joey's, I've watched Tina's, and I've watched Barbara's. There are a bunch of other people on the list, so if you head over to one of the links that I provide, they will have links in their description boxes for the people who are also joining in on the global positivity videos for 2021. After the year that we've had in 2020, 2021 definitely needs to be a positive outlook. Oops. Okay, so number two is going to be Oops, I went crooked. <laughs> okay. I swear I didn't even drink. <clears throat> so number two is I wanna create a small sized gratitude journal and I'm hoping to do at least a monthly video. For this but I want to actually create the journal it's going to be um, a much smaller size journal I don't know what size yet because it's just going to depend on what I decide to actually create but 
I don't want it to be a large journal like the size of a book. I want it to, to be much smaller. But that is the second thing that I'm looking to do. Okay, well, I should put a two here. And if I'm shaking the table, I don't mean to. My camera is actually attached to my table. Also, too, I don't know if you guys have checked out. I know a lot of you guys are friends with um, some of the people that I actually am friends with. But Natasha and also Missy over at Natasha's uh, Journey of Crafting. And Missy is Missy Journals. But I know Missy has been sick. So she is going to still be doing videos but she's gonna she's right now taking a little time off only because needless to say she was very very sick so but she just put out a video um talking about what some of her plans are for 2021 as well now natasha I have not had a chance to watch her video yet that she just put up today as well i'm not sure if she actually i know i know it was titled um something I think with a glue book so I think she's making a glue book and that's one thing I'm going to be doing in my altered book it's kind of my altered book is kind of going to be a personal journal but also too I want it to be like a glue book as well where I will glue in pictures and thoughts and different stuff that I find interesting at that time when I'm actually doing the glue book. I know Missy's doing an 80s glue book right now. So she's been finding fun, different magazines and stuff like that, that were back from the 80s, which was my time of being in high school and growing up. All right, so we're on number three. See if I can stay in the lines. Yes, sewing. And if you'd listen to John, I still have not put up my sewing machine yet. So that will be something I think I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I have to read the instructions. And it's been a long time, but I bought a brother's sewing machine because I saw um, two different people use this sewing machine. And it is the Project Runway sewing machine from Brother. And it also, uh, Brother has where something, I don't know if, the, if it, it automatically feeds your, not your bobbin, but when you go to put your bobbin in and when you have to... Um, feed the thread through the needle. So that's something I'm gonna have to look into, but from what the people that I've watched, they've said it's very, very easy to use. So, and the price was really good on it. So that's why I decided to buy that for myself for Christmas. So what I'm gonna do is sew ephemera for journals. And basically what I'll be doing is taking pieces of fabric and lace, uh, paper and ribbon and all that different stuff and also two pieces of cardstock I will be and I, I'm sure you've watched multiple people who sew their uh, ephemera so that's what I plan on doing I am also since I already have an Etsy shop <clears throat> um, and my Etsy shop name is Paper to Flame because I do make candles as well. So I decided the paper part would be the journaling part of it. So that's why I've got Paper to Flame. 
but I am hoping to this year at some point start selling ephemera that I make and maybe doing um, some sort of kits and stuff on Etsy, which is going to be the next one that we are going to be writing down. So let's underline this one. And this marker, just in case if you were interested, it's a Sharpie pen. And I love this pen because it is very loose, meaning it's not a hard tip, so it's easy to work with. So I don't know how often I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna try and do like the, the ephemera and stuff in bulk. So like mass, mass making. So let me put that here. So there'll be like mass making videos. So I can either do them as ASMRs if you prefer. Um, I can do them with, you know, just chatting and stuff like that. So just make sure you leave um, information down below in the comment section. What would you prefer when I'm making the mass making videos? Do you like the talking? Do you like having um, a little bit of quiet in between? Let me know down in the comment section. All right, so number four. <clears throat> I don't know why I did that, but whatever, I messed that up too. All right, so creating kits to sell on Etsy. That is just what I had said. So I will be looking to hopefully be making ephemera kits. Um, I don't know how to do digitals, so I can't get into digitals unless I can figure out how that all works. Um, if somebody wants to show me how to do that or explain how to create digitals, I'd be very appreciative because I've tried to find videos and stuff on that and I can't find anything. All I know is that you have to use um, images and stuff that are no longer in copyright. So you're basically looking for public domain pictures. I do have a couple of public domain sites because I do use them for when I make candle labels. Um, but like I said, I'm not really sure. I would like to get into that maybe at some point in time, but I'm not really sure how to make them. So if somebody wants to make a video on that, I'd be very appreciative. All right, so number five. So painting and watercoloring journaling pages. So I am going to be using watercolors, acrylic paints. I will also be using these Distress Crayons from Tim Holtz. I have some Albrecht Durr watercolor pencils. I have a whole bunch of different watercolor pencils that I'm hoping to use. Um, I have been painting 
and watercoloring probably since my early teens. Um, I was one of those people who was an avid watcher of the wonderful, talented Bob Ross. So I actually had got into doing some oil painting the way that he did it in his process. I didn't really do a whole lot. Um, like I said, I was much younger, so I had to do whatever I was able to do down in the basement of my, my family home. Um, I never actually went out and painted or anything like that, but I did a lot of craft stuff. So that's pretty much what I did a lot of, but I enjoy painting and watercoloring. Um, I have a video on my channel. I'll link it down below. It's not a full video. Unfortunately, I lost part of it. Uh, but I had taken inks and watercolors and stuff like that and made my, a picture which I called the Umbrella Lady. So I actually drew it out and took paints and watercolors and made it into the painting that I did create. So I can show it to you on another video. I do have it in a book. I do keep a book with my coloring pages that have been completed along with any project that I really like that I really want to keep or possibly frame at some point in time. So I do have that in a book. So that is something I could uh, actually bring out, put it down below if it's something you would like to see. But I was very proud of that because it came out really, really good. And I had actually drawn multiple pictures that I was going to work on and then my life kind of changed at that point and I ended up just getting rid of them because I had to move at the time. So I really didn't have the time to be doing that. So, but this will be included of course in doing the altered book series, also the gratitude journal um, and who knows, in possibly in other videos that I create throughout the year. All right, so the last one that I'm putting, and this doesn't mean this, this is all I'm going to do, but this is just a basis for what I know I definitely need to do for the year. today. one which is number six we are going to do making envelope pockets for junk journals and embellishing them that is something else I am hoping to make to make into kits to sell on Etsy as well are making a uh, basic plain envelope pockets that you can basically take anything that you want and embellish them I will probably make some that are already embellished, some that are just sewn, if you don't have a sewing machine or if you don't wanna use a sewing machine. So I will do that part for you. Um, and also too, I wanna at least make one or two homemade junk journals this year as well. So that's something else that I'm hoping to do. I'm not putting it down only because I don't want to overtax myself with working sometimes nine hours a day. I do find it hard. I don't get the time to do it during the week usually. So anything that I do, I usually have to do it on the weekends. 
So if, or on vacation, or on holiday, or whatever the case may be. And I cannot open up this washi tape. There we go. And if you hear a baby, that is my neighbors because these walls are very thin. Okay. All right. So these are my 2021 video ideas for my YouTube channel. So I hope this was fun. I mean, I'm just sitting here writing in my journal, so I figured at least I'd uh, take you along with me but you kind of now have an idea of what I'm looking to make video-wise for the year of 2021. So this is gonna be the next video I work on, and as you can see, I have my paint pens out, I have my, my water, so I'm hoping to do a little bit of painting. All right, so again, I hope everybody has a wonderful, brand new year. May 2021 be much better than what 2020 was. I look forward to you watching my videos and joining me for all the journaling that I plan on doing this year. So don't forget, leave me comments down below guys. Um, if there's something that you are looking for and it's something that I know how to do, I'd be more than happy to try and either learn how to do it or you know, figure out a way or just make the videos for you. Uh, so please leave me comments down below. That really helps me and it also helps to grow my channel. I still need 4,000 view hours. I do have over a thousand subscribers, but I do not have the view hours. So if you guys who are already subscribed, if you can actually go through my playlists and actually go and rewatch some of my older videos, um, I would really appreciate it because I really need the view times this year. I need to have at least 4,000 view time, view hours for me to get monetized. So this is something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, if I could make this a career, I would definitely make this a career somewhere down the road. Um, that would take a lot of work and it would take a lot of viewership. So if you enjoy the work that I do and you like to see the content that I'm going to be creating and or create as of now, please let me know. Leave comments down below because if there's something you are looking for or you would like me to change, I am always willing to listen to you guys. And because without you, there's really no point in me even being here. So with that, I bid you adieu. Everybody, have a wonderful rest of your week. Enjoy your first week of 2021. God bless.